Hello and welcome to part 5 of my Serie A review. I found a few more jerseys. I actually found all of them and I will do the remaining jerseys in two parts, so part 5 and part 6. And we'll start off in part 5 with looking at the third jersey of Cagliari. If you have seen, uh, I think it's in part 1, the home jersey is a classic half-half, uh, one part navy, another part red. The away jersey has uh, the stripe, but is otherwise white. And this one is actually a smart third jersey. Again, I don't see necessarily the reason for it, uh, as it does not provide a lot of contrast, but it looks smart overall. I think um, it being uh, navy jersey makes in a way sense. I like the even that the sponsors that are actually quite of clunk it is still connect somewhat to Sardinia uh, and uh, Cagliari in particular so uh, that looks actually nice. Uh, they have the red um, stripes going down the sides and the, uh, the collar and um, sleeves are trimmed also a little bit of red other than that everything's white. I honestly have to say I like this one too. Uh, despite the sponsors being so overbearing, but there is something about this jersey I like, so I would give this actually an 8 star. Then we move on to the next one, which is of course Empoli, where we see all three jerseys here are released. We have, and we'll go first with the home jersey, the one in the center which I find really odd. Again, it has this new kappa template uh, where the torso and the sleeves are separated by an additional strap. But uh, this here it's not seen as much unless you uh, look at the seams. But what I don't like is this two-tone jersey. For me, Empoli should play in a yeah, medium-level blue uh, which the bottom has, but then it goes into this navy blue and it kind of looks odd to me. And of course the sleeves are then all navy as is this kind of the, uh, patch. Um, and yeah, uh, that the sponsor is above the Kappa logo, that's especially that full color is a little bit odd. The main sponsor is actually all right, even if it has this green dot in there, but yeah just doesn't look quite right to me honestly uh, this would look better to me as a third jersey just look at how the crest does not fit in and for that reason i'm sorry i just gotta give this a four star rating the two alternates are better and uh, we'll go now with the away jersey and that one is actually quite simple it is white with the blue on the collar and the Kappa logo is also in blue but it's the same blue as we find on the Empoli crest which is among Italian crests surely not the best one. Uh, I actually remember they had some sort of cathedral on there at one point but I might be wrong. I just find this crest a little bit underwhelming uh, overall. Looks a little bit messy. Anyway, um, I like this away jersey. Uh, if they had the home jersey just in the same uh, template with the, just the plain blue. That would look, uh, look, look good. And despite its simplicity and a lot of sponsors, I'm gonna go give this uh, seven. This is a very good away jersey. And the third jersey, uh, I can say similar. Maybe the Kappa, cat, the Kappa logo uh, in white could be also in blue, but you know, in white it pops better. And since the sponsors are also in white, uh, it makes some sense. It doesn't look as good as the away jersey though because um, the away jersey has the advantage of having white and blue play paying off and here we have uh, black, white and blue so it's a little bit more therefore I'm only gonna give this a six. But yeah, uh, what did I really wish that the home jersey was just a plain blue one and it would be have been all right. Now, uh, there are not a lot of southern teams this season in Serie A and Frosinone, which is just a little bit south of Rome, is actually one of the four southernmost teams uh, in the league this year. 
which is kind of sad to say. I mean, we lost quite some southern teams and some classic southern teams like Bari or Lecce. I know even there. But let's go to Frosinone, uh, the Canaries. And they have uh, a sponsor with the name of Zeus, which I find is already wonderful. Uh, whenever you can get the uh, Greek father of the gods in there, <laughs> you're about to win with me at the jersey, actually. Again, I don't have any sponsors. I imagine this is many sponsors. So uh, whatever I'm thinking for rating here, I'm pro I will drop it down just for the sponsors or, or already by one grade. Uh, but this is actually a nice looking jersey. I like the Zeus uh, Z logo on the sleeves. Um, and then the blue trim. The color looks a little bit odd, but actually looks better than, for instance, the New Balance ones. It's just, why, why do we need to have the blue stripe going here? Just go let the color go around. So that's a little downside. I like this striping pattern that is copied from what Juventus had two seasons ago and Milan had, I think, yeah, 13, 14, 14, 15 had something like that. It's here I am okay. If this was uh, blue and yellow, I don't like it. But yeah, I think overall, if it's just that plain, it, it would look great and uh, good, cool, 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 high rating. I really hope that the sponsors on there are also in blue. Uh, but yeah, I cannot say much there, but it's so weird when I have to fact fact as well. I'm gonna give this a 7. I would go higher if I know that this is, I probably would go 8 if not 9. Probably 8 because of the color. Now the away jersey, I actually like even better because uh, despite it being messy and a little bit reminiscent of the Argentina away kit they wore in the 2014 World Cup final, this actually works. That, that away kit was a little bit of a mess with the black and the blue not really um, fading that well, but here we have a clear fade. And I like we have the blue on top, then we have a big yellow band, then it fades a little bit into white, and then the white fades into gray, and then we have the blue on the bottom, and the sleeves are trimmed on the left side with blue and the right side with yellow. I would be interested to see if the Zeus logo is actually also in blue on the other sleeve or if it's in yellow that would be an interesting fact and the nice thing about this is if the sponsor if there is one would be applied nicely here uh, there is enough space we have the white band that would fit for a sponsor if it's a two-time sponsor you can fit it probably in this band up here so i think this is a really interesting smart design that without sponsors i definitely would give a now yeah, i see the, the look here the back is probably just plain white. I wish at least that the blue would fold over a little bit to really form a nice shoulder yoke. So yeah, um, I would give this an 8, but again, we'll go with 7 here. But those jerseys are actually quite nice, and I like the blue and yellow. This is uh, quite interesting. Now, going from a rather lesser team, we go to Italy's oldest team. And the one that won so many championships at the beginning and then this just stopped. Genoa, the first champion, the oldest team in Italy. And they, like Cagliari, get a very classic looking home jersey with this half and half look. But it also, uh, the sleeves are not exactly uh, half half because the sleeves give the continue the contrast. The one thing I do regret though is that the sleeve trims on the right sleeve, the dark one, is red and it should be blue here on the red one. That looks odd to me. Um, yeah, the picture is not the greatest uh, in terms of presentation, but we can get a good idea of how the jersey will look like. I, the color is very old style, except for this red uh, slanted band. I really like how the crest is boldly applied and then maybe with the sponsors they go a little bit too wacko, especially the one below the Lotto logo. Um, that's just a tad too much. Um, if I look on the back, yeah, we see the same thing. Uh, also note that there's this uh, slight fade between uh, the two halves which makes an interesting effect. It seems a little bit that the red half is bigger. 
which is odd. I like that under the collar we have the founding date, 1893. Uh, the spawns on the back I'd rather not have, but yeah, that's uh, the times. Overall, I think almost a classic Gainer jersey. I really liked, like the collar. There are a few things that I don't like, so um, I would go seven here. The away jersey, though, that one is really nice. Uh, similar as Sampdoria, they put the crest on the belly. It is, might look odd, but it, I actually like it in this setting. Uh, then, of course, the Lotto logo moves uh, where the crest should be. But yeah, uh, interesting design for sure. Same color as before. Now we have the dark blue uh, trims on the sleeves, which makes sense. I like this plain whiteness of it. And also the sponsor is kind of forced to the bottom. Of course, there will be one opposite of the Lotto logo. So. Uh, that's a given. I'm not so sure about the color opening, but I think overall this is a really nice one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go eight or nine. I'm just wondering how much is the crest. Uh, yeah, I think I'm more comfortable with eight here. Uh, I guess it also has this sponge on the back that doesn't fit in. But yeah, it, I really like this design overall. And now the last new jersey uh, is the Inter third jersey, which has an interesting feature that, you know, we, it is gray, which I, I'm not sure why we need it gray and especially than the yellow taping across. But it is the pattern in between that I think is interesting because this dark gross uh, shows um, satellite picture of the city of Milan and in the Sarayan and Santa Cecilia Piazza the, uh, Duomo. So uh, that is nice. As a Milan fan, I always find it a little bit funny that uh, Inter wants to brand itself as the team of Milan. Well, um, let them. I think all this kit will be mostly used in the Champions League, so I will feature maybe more of it there. Uh, there is another pattern that's akin like kind of a marble pattern around it. Overall, the monochromatic crest, I just don't understand the colors. Uh, I understand the cross, it's the flag of Milan. I don't understand the yellow. I don't understand why it needs to be gray. I, I think a, a blue with a black cross or whatever would have made a lot more sense here. So it's honestly kind of an unnecessary kit. And for that reason, I like this with the city, but I, I cannot go higher than four. And then I've already shown you uh, the Juve Away kit. Uh, here again, I know people go crazy about it because it has such a uh, stylish look. I just don't see the point of it. The home jersey is mainly white with two big black stripes. Here we have a, basically an off-color white with uh, light gray applications. <sighs> no point to it. Yes, it looks nice. But this is at best an alternate jersey, not an away jersey. And again, logo, blah, blah, blah. I surely stay with my five stars for that one. Well, let me know what you thought about all these shirts, whether you agree with me or you disagree with me. Um, if you liked that video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of that, especially if you want to see part six, which will be published tomorrow. Up until then. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.